Uh, we're a, a group of caring people that uh, want to do some good in the community. Um, we're supported by a number of churches, and I, I think I have some of the best volunteers going. Um, the way it works, uh, uh, two volunteers will come out with us with a vehicle, and I go every week, and they go one week a month. So nobody's taxed too much. Uh, the Sandwich Guys, in a nutshell, we're, uh, uh, I guess, a food outreach group that goes out once a week and tries to feed people, usually in the area of about 100 people. Uh, it's not just the food, it's the company, it's saying hi, it's, it's making their day if we can. And along with doing that, uh, we can provide them with referrals to helping agencies. But this is usually our first stop right in here. And uh, like I say last night, we uh, I think we fit about 20 people in here. And as you can see, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, some of these places, you can tell by looking at them, they've been let go. This was a really, really nice trailer park uh, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. But a lot of them have just went down. This would be our second stop right here at this motel. See, a lot of the people that we help, um, they're really taxed because, uh, well, a lot of them stay in the, in the motels down here that we're gonna stop at next. And they charge so much for the rent that there's not a lot left over for food and personal need items. And are they staying in hotels because they simply can't get other housing? Exactly, exactly. It's been, you know, there's a definite uh, shortage of rental properties in Chatham, uh, especially low-end ones. This motel here, during COVID, we were seeing uh, at least 20 people a visit here, but we give out a lot of toiletries here at this one. People, uh, I guess this place is a little more expensive than some of the other ones, but, but they all take a good chunk of money. This guy's really good. Uh, some of the owners will even, if a client's not home, will take the food for us and give it to them. Oh, yeah? But again, that's, it varies from place to place. God, there's actually one motel up here we can't even go on the property anymore. Why is that? Uh, the lady's just kind of strange. We've had a couple run-ins with her and at one time, she was getting food off of us for herself. And uh, we mentioned that to her, which wasn't a problem, but then she got upset and uh, said we couldn't come on the property anymore. So what we do, we just, there's a variety store across the street, I'll show you up here. We just uh, pull into the variety store and the people come over. So it works out okay. Whatever problem we, we run into, we usually work out a way around it. Well, what happens to a lot of people, um, they get caught up in their drug use and that doesn't leave any money for food or for rent. And uh, especially with the drugs that are out there now, uh, take fentanyl, uh, the new crack of the opiates, I call it, because once people start smoking that, they can't stop. And they will spend all their money on it Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. They'll spend all their money on it and leave nothing left. It's, it's just, it's a horrid drug. The Chatham Kent Drug Awareness Council has published a website that has all kinds of different resources on it. Can you tell us about that? Uh, I'm not the most knowledgeable person in it, but uh, yeah, they have a listing of different services. Uh, something I should mention that uh, each one of our directors is associated with one of those services that, that are listed there. So. I mean, you've got the expert of experts listed, so it is the place to go to get help.